Motorcycles. <laughs> They're no longer herding the, the cattle on with the horses. <laughs> and uh, to the top that story a little bit, we just uh, on the 19th of May, Paul King brought down a, a major economic statement that, uh, in which we had to do something about trying to get the economy in a slightly better shape than we were inheriting. And it involves uh, cutting back on some expenditure programs and imposing a few new taxes. A few days after it was uh, done, I was calling the National Farmers Federation. Yeah. Cool. 
Well, I'm delighted that Prime Minister Bob Hook has been able to come to Washington so early in his administration. We've had a productive session reviewing bilateral issues as well as world developments. And more importantly, we've had a chance to put our relationship on a personal basis. We find we have much in common, but that's no surprise between friends and allies. The bonds between our two nations are of long standing. Our ties are a precious tradition, reflecting our many concerns and shared values. Australia is a great nation that plays a vital role in regional and world affairs. It's a key ally upon whom we can count. Ours is an alliance of trust and friendship. I'm grateful for the goodwill expressed by Prime Minister Hawke today, and I welcome his wise counsel. I've been looking forward to getting to know him, and it was our first meeting, but certainly not our last. We will be in frequent contact in the future, and I wish the Prime Minister and all Australians the best of luck, and again, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I join with you in uh, expressing the appreciation that I have for having placed uh, the relationship between our two countries now uh, in terms of uh, a personal meeting between us. I, like you, have been looking forward to this meeting. I have been able to convey to you and through you to the people of the United States the fundamental importance that uh, we in the new Labor government attach to the relationship with the United States. I was able to remind uh, the President that it was a Labor government during the last war which fundamentally reoriented the international relationship of Australia uh, towards that uh, alliance with the United States. It was an alliance which served us well, the United States and Australia, during that war. And in the period since the war, uh, that relationship in general, and particularly in terms of the ANZAS treaty relationship, has continued to serve both our countries well. Uh, there is no country I have suggested to the President that this country will be able to rely on more as a constructive ally than Australia. It will be a relationship of deep friendship and as is befitting between people and nations who are friends, it will be one at times where there may be differences of emphasis uh, in our perceptions of particular issues. Those differences, if they exist, will be honestly and directly expressed, but will in no way diminish the fundamental uh, depth of the relationship between our two countries. I appreciate the opportunity that I have had to discuss with the President matters of immediate bilateral importance to us, uh, matters of concern in the immediate region of Australia, and issues 
of global consideration. And we have found uh, in all those areas an identity of interest and uh, I have expressed to the President, as he has uh, to me, uh, a firm intention on both our parts to ensure uh, that the relationship which has been strong and productive in the past will continue to be even more so in the future. And that will reflect the relations between our countries and what is now a firm personal relationship between the President of the United States uh, and myself as Prime Minister of Australia. Thank you, Mr President. You're counting those, you're counting those Japanese cameras? <laughs> <laughs>